Well, uh, hello everyone and welcome to The Last Thoughts of a Busy Mind, Chapter 116. This one titled, Volcano. We'll get to why I titled that in a bit. Um, it's the first episode of June, which means May is over. Yay. Um, not fully over though, because of some misplanning, uh, I couldn't watch one of the movies, in particular Dr. Zhivago on time, so I still need to watch that and film that. But aside from that, May is over. Yay. Um, my drink for today is some green melon smoothie. I could have had it yesterday. I kept it because I knew I was going to be recording this podcast today and I needed a drink. I'm recording this around 3 p.m. It's a bit late you know i feel like this is like the new normal at this point i'm no longer recording at 12 a.m but anyways let me take a sip mm. fantastic it's been it's it had been in the fridge all night it's great it's refreshing i love it uh, i generally love melon smoothies and uh, you know i just I love it. There is no other way of saying it. So, why did I name it Volcano? Uh, it has a double meaning. Um, because one of them is, uh, uh, recently in this week, I checked out... If you go back long enough, you will find an episode on it. I can't remember the exact chapter. I should have looked it up beforehand. I didn't. But if you go back, you will see an episode, Musical March in November. And uh, in that episode, I talk about a thing I did in November, and one of the entries was Volcano. And uh, I was showing it to my friend, and she said, uh, what did you choose for that one? Apparently, I chose Hallelujah, the Devil's Carnival, which is a good musical. But that was one of the reasons for Volcano was already in my mind. The other one was um, just, you know, because of, a, like a volcano, it's been a... It's been a very emotional week, like there is an overflow of feeling, like I'm erupting from emotions like a volcano. I'll get to why uh, slowly. First of all, as I said, it's the end of May. It wasn't easy. I feel like June last year, I was uh, having burnout at the end, like several of the movies suffered badly because of it. Here, burnout both kicked in much earlier and much later. The one day off was good, but going into this, I was already very uh, depressed. I was dealing with a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings that you already know about because I talked about them in length in this season. And so going in, I wasn't already in a good place. Um, then there was the trip to Dubai, which fucked up a lot more things than I am willing to admit. And so the burnout hit much sooner than it should have, but it also hit much later. So I think it, if, it, if it was like June last year, which I was going in ready to deal with it, I wasn't out of shape uh, in terms of video making. Physically, I was the same. Um, and I wasn't busy with a lot of other stuff, I could have gotten a better experience out of this one. But no, the trip to Dubai fucked everything, and aside from that, just going in, it felt more weird, and I was getting back into videos, which I liked. I actually, I think at the end of this, I can go back to making like smaller videos again, but, you know, making this one, was very hard and so yeah Dr. Zhivago got the worst end of it because I couldn't even watch it on the day and some of these movies I just barely could stomach through like the story of Zhu and Lai watch the video when we get to there because that wasn't an easy watch so there is also that then this week also a lot of my weeklies uh, which are shows that I watch every week ended at three of them to be exact just finished not like the season, they're done, and they are succession, succession ended, the ending was good, I, I, I won't spoil it or anything, Um, it was good, I knew, like, at the end of it, I wasn't uh, unsatisfied, you know, I, I was satisfied with what I was watching, 
The same goes too for the other two shows, which was Barry. Both of them ended on Monday. Barry also had a great finale. Uh, I liked how they resolved Fuchs finally uh, and ended that parasocial relationship. Parasitical, not parasocial. Parasitical relationship. And uh, Ted Lasso, which ended on Wednesday, but I watched the episode today because I was busy on Wednesday. I'll get to why in a little bit. Uh... Also a great ending. I didn't want to say goodbye, but I had to. Goodbye, Coach Lasso. It was it was incredibly bittersweet. And also, this season, thankfully it's not over fully, but this season of Taskmaster also ended today. I, I watched the episode already. I know who won. I will not spoil it. I think this was a great season. Not as good as season 14, but just one notch under it. Like, I have a list of um episodes uh, like but i'm say, saying episodes seasons i have a tier list for the seasons and like at the top is season seven and at the bottom is season three this uh, season 15 has gone on literally right in the middle at number eight um it's great <laughs> i had fun frankie it's a little bit of a spoiler. Frankie didn't win any of the episodes, but it's okay. I love Jenny Eclair. Jenny Eclair was so fun. I loved her so much. Just the pure joy in her essence. I fucking loved it. But another reason May is usually very troubling for me um, is, and I hope you stay with me when I talk about it, um i have discussed this before but i think i need to just say it i lost a friend on may 31st um back in 2019 it's been four years it's not easy we don't know the cause of death fully we don't know the story behind it i just i I miss him and i do have some guilt over what happened and um i didn't do anything but just the fact that i didn't do anything is why i feel guilty and so I really miss him. That was on Wednesday, and um, it could have been bad. I had Bridge on the River, quite a great movie on that day, and uh, it could have been bad. It could have been destructive. I couldn't, I could have just fucking been destroyed on that day. Uh, I wasn't, uh, because of stuff that, I'm gonna talk about right now uh, one of them being that on Wednesday I went to the university and um, I was surrounded by friends and it didn't feel like an outsider I felt like I was wanted uh, I at the, when it all ended and I was going home I hugged every one of them and um, I just I don't know how many of them are gonna listen to this I fucking love you people like I needed those hugs, I needed to feel wanted, and it was a great day. I didn't think about him throughout the day in a bad sense, Uh, you know. I didn't think about him in a bad sense. The fact that I didn't think about him was good. I didn't think about feeling guilty. I just think about, oh, this is like the times I used to have with him. And I miss him, I miss my friend, I miss Ashkan. Um, I hope he rests in peace and... um, you know my feelings on death i don't want to go into it but uh, it was never easy to lose a friend especially one where you you have you know that old uh, stereotype you know when they tell someone someone is dead they say but i was talking to him last week i was talking to him the week before and uh, yeah i miss him there is no way around it i miss him massively and so as i said it's a volcano on top of everything else that happened wednesday could have been bad but it wasn't and then i went out um, i had fun it was a good day monday was also good tuesday was also good and thursday i had a couple of very good days in uh, succession <laughs> because because succession ended that was the reason for the laugh i'm going to take another sip of the smoothie 
I know smoothie or smoothie. I keep saying smoothie. I think it's smoothie. And I'm just really over pronouncing the T. Fantastic. Very good. Very lovely. Um, with the way things went on Friday, even though this is a overflow of emotions and feelings, I am not feeling very bad. I'm not feeling uh, too distraught. I have a tiny bit of optimism still in me uh, because because of how Wednesday went. I feel like, oh, at the very least, I have made some connections that I'm going to appreciate. Connections that felt impossible. You know, if you go back and listen to my episodes about uni, you probably know that I felt like, oh, I'm going to just be good with one person but no i'm actually having multiple friends there that i actually like to call friends some of them actually like listening to what i say and reading what i say that friend that i talked about that uh the volcano thing musical she actually seemed like she was enjoying what i was talking about i was talking about what i did on musical march in november which I'm going to do this year. I didn't do it last year for obvious reasons, but I'm going to do it this year, probably mafia-themed. It's going to be Mafia May in November, um, because the musical March, Western August, Mafia May in November. And so there is that. Uh, at At the moment, like after putting a bow on, we didn't start the fire video, Uh, I'm going to be taking probably a little bit of a rest when it comes to movies and just writing uh, and do a lot of the other stuff that I was supposed to do. I was writing proposals. I'm going to go back to doing that. Uh, Probably will, um, not probably, I will be focusing on the movie that we're going to make for the class. Uh, I'm the assistant director there and PM production manager. So I will be focusing on that. Probably it will be the day of the recording will be one Friday, so either before or after that, I probably will have an episode out, so I will talk more about that then, because I think some of my friends have said that they do like when I talk about the experiences of filmmaking, so I will be doing that. Um, then afterwards, probably play a little bit of video games. <laughs> it's been a while, I want to play video games. I want to have fun and not worry about everything. I want to write the proposals and do the movie. I want to play video games. I want to craft stuff. I bought a kit in Dubai of a Statue of Liberty. It's a, uh, I think, cardboard kit. But I'm looking forward to making that. I'm looking forward to making the tiny model uh, that I have. Uh, I'm looking forward to making to using the hot wire cutter that my mom bought me a while ago and I haven't still used. I have a bunch of paper... Um, paper uh, kits that I need to make, old paper kits. In general, I want to do a lot more crafting. On top of that, I want to write more scripts. I want to at least, by the time we get to September, and I do, we didn't start the fire part two, I want to have at least two more videos out. Not big videos, but uh, good videos, like 20 minutes. Um, I do have the script for one hour, I will, I will probably do the offer one, but the other one, uh, I will probably write one for uh, West Side Story and Annie, I have a fun thing about that, if I can, I will make the guide, it's a long story, I wanted to do a guide to what happened in Iran, I will probably still be making it, uh, probably won't be publishing it while I'm in Iran, but I feel like after doing this, after doing the script for this long ass video and 30 movies, I feel more confident about writing scripts again and filming myself again. So I will be going back to that easier now. And uh, so hopefully that will happen. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there is also other stuff that I am already committed to. I will be doing a play reading. I have one of the more... uh, My role isn't that important, but, uh, like, I don't have many dialogues, but I am very important to the central theme of the 
story so i will be doing that i have to play an old 60 year old old retired professor i can do tired incredibly well so i believe i can do retired uh, i'm doing driving classes now that's the thing i will be doing driving classes i started i think i talked about it last week i started at saturday it was incredibly stressful. I wasn't very good. I think I am much better now. I think I'm getting the hang of it slowly. I am still beholden to a lot of things, including the fact that I have an instructor next to me that has an access to clutch and uh, the brakes, which are important. But in general, um, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, like I can't hear the engine when I, when I need to change gears I have to look at the speedometer because I can't hear the engine and like change it based on that so if the speedometer is stuck which I, it had happened with the car it's an old crappy car for the driving class um, I, I don't know what to do <laughs> I don't know what to do so yeah, there is that. There are also other stuff that I look forward to. Uh, we're supposed to have a end of the semester party. One of my friends is going to do it. I wanted to do it honestly myself, but um, I'm not good at it. So I'm very glad someone else step up to the challenge. So there is that. Uh, I want to organize a lot of the old stuff that I have under my desk, uh, like stuff from when I was a child, memory stuff. I have bought a folder for them to organize them and i just in general want to get back to the things that i was doing get back on track basically which is what i've tried to do last year around july when i was editing july and august when i was editing um we didn't start the fire part one and when i and i was done with that within 10 days the world went into crisis so my world in Iran so there is a chance now that I'm trying to get back on track something horrible is going to happen like I don't know I hope internet doesn't get fucked uh, because that is a massive blow to me if that does happen but you know the fear is always there you know the anxiety the anxiety is always there it never goes away especially when you live in Iran especially when you are me uh, but yeah I hope to have more good stuff. At the very least, considering everything goodish stuff, you know, more meaningful relationships, more meaningful friendships. I want to, I like, I've put on hold a lot of my friendships because of May, and now that it's over, I will be calling up a lot of people asking them to meet up. Um, mainly friends that I haven't met up for a long time so yeah feels good it's always good to plan planning always feels good but let's see if I can stick with it now if you want to see if I stick with it or not I'm doing the call to action in a more clever way if you want to see if I stick with it or not one of the places where I will be discussing it probably in more length than you want to is this podcast so if you listen to this on spotify or on any other platform do do not forget to follow it or subscribe to it if you listen to this on youtube don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video of it as well and leave a comment i would love to get, get some feedback on the podcast and on everything if you're listening to this on spotify there is a link in the description that you can send me a voice message on spotify for podcasters rip anchor and if you do that, I will be playing your voice message at the beginning of the next episode and you will be shaping a whole episode based around your uh, message, probably. So don't forget to do that if you feel comfortable sharing your voice and telling me what you think of the episodes that I've done. I've, ha I've had 116 of them, including this. Not including the special ones. So, you know, there is a lot. I've been doing this for way longer than I thought I would, and I am low-key kind of proud of myself. Let's see what we can do. 
and so with that i will see you all next week and talk about other stuff then hopefully